All right. I don't really like doing that whole description crap on the Facebook marketplace because I think it just, I don't have enough room really honestly to explain what these boards are that I have that I'm trying to sell. So this is a 2018, 2019 Nidecker Donuts. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. Top sheets, really good condition. Only damage on the top sheet is literally right here. There's a little bit of rashing. You can see the wood tiny bit. And then you can see some little bit of chips right here and right here. But as far as like any kind of eyesores, uh, really nothing, really nothing on this top sheet. I just got this board. I got this board in a package. The guy sold me three boards. Uh, two of them were Nideckers. I've never ridden Nideckers. I wanted to check it out. That's why I got it. Uh, I'm selling it because I have too many amazing carving boards and I really don't need another one. Um, so that gives you a little clue to what this board's for. This board is part of their surf series. It's supposed to be for riding pow. Uh, I think general all mountain use, uh, definitely free ride oriented. But uh, as far as the word surf, surf does not come to mind when I ride this board. This board to me is not surfy, that's my opinion. I think if I were to set it all the way back, uh, detune these edges, and we had some good snow, I think it could be surfy. Um, but to me, the word surf did not come in mind when I rode this board. This board, when I rode it, it's super stiff. Uh, not like crazy, 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 crazy stiff, but it's pretty stiff. Uh, this tail is super stiff. Uh, this board, full camber, has, you know, rocker right here. Um, but it's, it's pretty much camber from contact point to contact point. Really nice camber on it. Uh, this board is for charging hard. This board is for lane trenches. This board is for really, really getting your carb on, in my opinion. Or it's just great at that, and that's what I did on it, and that is why I have that opinion. Um, I do a lot of technical writing. I do a lot of tree writing. Uh, and I have other specific brand boards that I really like in that. Um, but I can ride full camber boards in the trees, no issues. Uh, this board, definitely, if you're taking it in the trees, it's not super, super, you know, like five, six, seven inches. Um, you're gonna wanna detune these edges. If it's hard in the trees and you're just trying to get your technical tree riding because you're a psycho, uh, definitely gonna wanna detune these edges to make it, and maybe even slam it back so you can get your surf on in the trees. You take it in there with decently sharp edges, uh, it, it's not a board that I think is made for that. That's not what it's, no surf. I don't believe in, in the surf series for this board. This board is for charging. Uh, other cool thing about this board for charging is that it has a 9900 centered base. So if you don't know anything about bases or centered bases, extruded bases, different grades of centered bases, 9900 is literally uh, the top that I'm sure there's some new base that's like above 9900 but you're not getting like four more levels of centered bases 99 9000 8000 that's the top tier uh, bases that you're gonna get on a really expensive boards Jones I believe they put I think they went to the 8000 they used to have a 9000 then they went back down a year later to the 8000 I'm sure they have another board out there that has 9000 or 9000 plus uh, but this board, the base, just so you know, this base is fast. Uh, I have one day of wax on it. I have, I'm sorry, I have one wax on it with one day of writing. Um, I will wax it again if you want me to, if you buy it for extra cost. But this board is waxed, ready to ride. Uh, no deep gouges in the base. I don't see any P-texting, any kind of repair job, anything like that. So this base is solid, this top sheet is solid. Uh, overall, this board for being a used board, this board is solid. Definitely for the dude that wants to rail carves, um, has a board that can go faster than everybody else. Um, has I, Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, these guys may, maybe weren't the best riders, I don't know. Uh, but I saw two bros on an on a Orca, and the other one had the uh, whatever gold orca or some shit i don't know both of them and they started out before me i caught up with them and i passed them and i could be part of their riding level their skill level my skill level but all i know is that this board is fast and i have a lot of boards that have top tier bases and this is up there with them oh uh, this is a 154 
Uh, I just looked it up on Backcountry. It says that the 154 has a 265 waist width. And this has an 8.1 millimeter side cut. That means that this board side cut is really good for cars. If you know anything about side cuts, you know that that's a good side cut for railing cars. This nose, uh, honestly, it goes up pretty, pretty decently. I wish it went up just a slightly more, kind of would help out for like how situations. Uh, the dude that needs to buy this board, I am 185, 195, I'm about 5'11". I'm pushing the weight limit on this board. I believe the weight limit on this board is 175, that it says the suggested weight limit. I think that's true. I think I would have liked the 158 donuts a little bit better. Uh, but I bought this board, I liked it because it was willing to 154. Uh, really was fun to throw around. Great for great pop, great snap. This tail is super stiff, so when you really get into it, you're going to boost. Um, no issues there. It's a great all-around board for the guy that wants a hard charging board, uh, board that can rail carbs, a uh, board that is fast, a board that can shred power if you set it back. I think the best weight limits uh, for the person that buys this board is someone about 11 boot and under. Uh, if you're really digging in, digging it hard, laying it over, I would say this is for a 10 boot and under. I would say weight range. I would say this is for 175 and under. Uh, I think that's definitely, they, they got it pretty spot on when they gave the weight range for that. Um, in general though, this board is in great shape. Would keep it if I didn't have already, you know, five amazing carving boards. Don't need it. Uh, I think I will sell this board for about 230. Um, I think that's a great price. For this centered base, you really, for just that alone, I think the centered base, that alone, is a great price for 230. The, the decent shape that it's in. I know you can get a 150 donuts right now, same model for 329, 329.97, but I mean, you gotta be a tiny dude to ride that 150, so. 154 will work for a guy my size, 5'11", 195, uh, but I think this is geared for someone a little bit smaller. You want to you want to lay trenches? Buy this board. You want to go fast? Buy this board. You want to pop hard? Buy this board. You want to decently be able to ride trees? If you detune these edges, you probably could even have more fun. Buy this board. You want a board that can handle about mm, ten inches and under at my size, slammed all the way back? Buy this board. You want this board for a foot plus, and you're about 150, 160, slammed all the way back? Buy this board. If you just are looking for a board that you don't have in your quiver, a small volume shifted for a dude my size around that, and, and you just want a board that you know can, can keep up with all the friends and rail cars and everything, I think this is the one for you. Uh, if you like big boards, you like the stability of big boards. Oh, sorry, I just drank an energy drink. Probably noticed I'm hyped up. Uh, if you like bigger style boards like I do, um, I think this is a fun board to add to the quiver. Uh, you know, but you could skip it. If, if you're more into 154 area, 157 and under area, and uh, you're looking for a smaller board that can have the stability of a 157, 158, but add a 154, and a more, I said 175 and under, this is, this is the board for you. Great board, wish I could have kept it. I could keep it, but I really don't need it. And um, I think this is, a, this is an amazing board. I really liked it. Uh, definitely check it out.